A promise transcends time. It's not bound by time at all. In fact, it's not bound at all. It is a commitment of yourself to another. You are going to make a lifelong commitment, not to an unknown future, but to someone whom you do know and someone whom you do love. And the nature of that commitment is that from this day going forward, you will always face the unknown future together, never again alone. And that makes this very safe and very sensible. And wouldn't it be nice if we could keep a commitment like that? Look at Patrick and Katya. We can see you, and we can see how you love one another. That means we see how you forgive one another when you need to. We see how you assist one another. We see how you give life. We see how you enrich communities. That's what the love of God is like. And what we see of it, we see in you. So don't take that grace for granted. As you go forward, you want to grow in that grace by praying together, by enriching the communities in which you live, by teaching your children the faith, and helping them to grow in the love of God, and in every way possible to cooperate with this great assistance to your marriage that is given to you. Continue that celebration, would you welcome Patrick and Katia into your midst, now husband and wife. Hi everyone. For those of you who don't know me already, I'm Carissa, I'm Katia's younger sister. Growing up, Katia is what I like to call my third parent. She always looked out for me and made sure I didn't get into too much trouble and always gave me advice even when it wasn't sold out. After all these years for looking out for me, I could not be happier that Katya found Pat and now has someone to look after her and protect her the way she is always done for me. Katya and Pat's love story is tried and true to every University of Delaware student's dream. For those of you who know, they met at Tim's, a college bar. <laughs> on a night that Katya really did not want to go out at all. But luckily for her, she had her friends to give her the old speech saying, you know, you never know, you might meet the love of your life tonight. And sure enough, that was the night that Katya met Pat. And now we're here today. So let's all raise a toast to the newlyweds, Katya and Pat. <laughs> So Pat, Pat and I met in college as we were both training to become officers in the Marine Corps. Uh, that's nearly eight years ago now. And since that time, I've come to realize that he's one of the best friends that I have ever had. When Pat finally met Katya, and you know, very quickly we, we kind of knew it was all over. It, it was one of those things that you can't quite put a finger on, but the way he acted and the way he spoke about you, Katya, we could tell that he had pretty much made up his mind. And knowing how hard it would be at times, I think Pat still knew in the woods that day that he would someday be here with 